Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be checking out NX Copper Power. If you're looking for a safer, more effective copper treatment for taking care of parasites like ick and velvet that is dramatically less toxic to fish and has a super low rate of precipitation that keeps the copper level in your quarantine tank at those therapeutic levels for longer without having to add more copper, then check out Copper Power. If this is your first time treating with copper or if you've been treating with copper and that ick or velvet that your fish has seems to be resistant to it, which unfortunately does happen, then this is a must because it is safer, easier to use, and you can get it much higher, which can deal with those more resistant strains. Copper-based medications are a popular choice for dealing with external parasites like ick and marine velvet and are commonly used during the quarantine process of new fish to help prevent the accidental infection of the fish already established in the display tank. Although copper medications are widely used and considered to be very effective, some forms of copper medication can be easily overdosed and some can be difficult to maintain at those therapeutic levels due to precipitation. Copper Power from Endic is a safer, more stable copper treatment for dealing with those pesky parasites as swiftly as possible. It can be used at more than twice the concentration of other more toxic forms of copper, making it effective not only on parasites, but also some forms of fungus. And it remains at therapeutic levels in the tank longer than other copper medications prone to precipitation, making it easier to work with and more cost effective, which is probably why it's one of the most popular copper medications available. You can get Copper Power in three three sizes, a four ounce bottle, a 16 ounce bottle, and a one gallon jug. One ounce will treat 20 gallons of water, which means each bottle can treat 80, 320, and 2,560 gallons respectively if used at the maximum dosage. Like I mentioned, Copper Power is dramatically less toxic to fish than other copper medications, meaning it can be dosed at a much higher concentration of 2.5 ppm, which makes it effective not only for external parasites, but also some types of fungus. But if you are dealing with a more sensitive species of fish, a concentration as low as 1.5 ppm can be effective. When you are introducing your fish to a quarantine tank with copper medication, you can take it slow and start with a lower concentration of 1.0 ppm and slowly work up to the full 2.5 ppm over the course of a week or so. When you're treating your fish with copper in a quarantine system, it is really important to test for copper in that water. That way you can make sure that the copper is at therapeutic levels. The last thing you want is to go through the treatment process, realize you are below the therapeutic level for whatever reason and have to do it again, or worse, have way more copper than you need and risk any kind of injury to your fish. Because copper power is safer at much higher concentrations than other copper medications, the best test kit for monitoring copper power is the HANA Copper Checker with its wider range that goes up to 5.0 ppm. Once you've tested and you know you've reached the correct concentration, Copper Power will remain active in the aquarium for a long time. It is very stable and precipitates extremely slowly, so beyond corrective dosing after doing water changes, you shouldn't be continually adding Copper Power to maintain that therapeutic level like you would with other copper medications. Your average copper treatment will take 14 days and the countdown starts once you've gotten the copper concentration in the water all the way up to that therapeutic level. You want to continue to test for copper in the tank periodically throughout the entire treatment just to make sure that that therapeutic level is maintained. If you do a water change to remove ammonia or anything like that, you're going to need to add some extra copper power to the tank to get it at that therapeutic level and maintain it so that it remains effective. If you aren't familiar with the HANA checker, it is a great way to do it and you can check out this video right here where I go over the ins and outs of the HANA checker, what it's all about and how you can use it. It takes like less than two minutes to do a test and it has basically three steps. It's the easiest thing ever. So check it out. Make sure those fish go into a, you know, perfectly beautiful reef tank with a perfectly beautiful and clean uh, bill of health. Don't transfer things. Quarantine. Or if your fish is already sick, quarantine and get rid of it and then they can go back.